ओम ज्ञानतिमीरांधस्ञानाजनशलाकया चक्षुन्मील येना तस्म श्रीगुरव नम नमा ओं विष्णुपादा कृष्णपृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्तिदातस्वामीना नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्यदेशिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओं नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर इन दिस सेशन विल बी डिस्कसिंग फ्रॉम वर्सेस थर्टी टू थर्टी थ्री ऑफ द फोर्टीन चैप्टर ऑफ द फर्स्ट कैंट ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम युधिष्ठर इज मेकिंग इंक्वायरीज फ्रॉम अर्जुन प्रद्युम सर्वृष्णी नाम सुखमास्ते महारथ गंभीरयो अनिरुद्धो वर्धते भगवान उत द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस वर्ड्स इज हव इज प्रद्युमना द ग्रेट जनरल ऑफ द वृष्णी फैमिली इज ई हैप्पी एंड इज अनिरुद्ध द प्लीनरी एक्सपैंशन ऑफ द पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड एट वेरिंग वेल पर पोर्ट श्रीला प्रभुपाद मेक्स रिमार्क Pradyumna and Anirudha are also expansions of the personality of Godhead, and thus they are also Vishnu Tattva. Krishna is the original personality of Godhead. His first expansion is Balaram. Balaram expands into the first Chaturvyuha. Vasudeva, Sankarshana, Pradyumna, Anirudha. So those Pradyumna and Anirudha are mentioned here. Also, as expansion of the personality of Godhead, and they belong to the Vishnu Tattva category. Vishnu Tattva means they are qualitatively and quantitatively equal with Krishna. At Dwaraka, Lord Vas Vasudeva is engaged in his transcendental pastimes along with his plenary expansions, namely Sankarshana, Pradyumna, and Aniruddha. So the Chaturvyuha. the quadruple expansion this proper sense elsewhere vasudeva sankarshana pradyumna aniruddha they are all engaged in transcendental pastimes and therefore each and every one of them can be addressed as the personality of godhead as it is mentioned in connection with the name aniruddha here गंभीर रयो अनिरुद्धो वर्धते भगवान उत अनिरुद्ध भगवान सो भगवान कैन बी यूज फॉर ऑल विष्णु तत्व एक्सपैंशन ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड कृष्ण द थर्टी फर्स्ट वर्ड्स सुषेण चारुदेशन सांबो जांबवती सुता अन्े च काश्मी प्रवरा सपुत्रा ऋषभाद the meaning of this verse is are all the chieftain sons of lord krishna such as sushena charudeshna samba the son of jambavati and rishabha along with their sons all doing well so here the enquiry by yudhishthira about the sons of krishna krishna's sons are called karshna so uh, the reference is made to the sons of krishna headed by uh, some of the uh, chieftains so shrila propal explains in the purport as already mentioned lord krishna married 16108 wives and each of them had 10 sons therefore uh krishna had 161080 sons if i were to put it in the terms of lakhs 1 lakh 61080 sons they all grew up 
and each of them had as many sons as their father. Krishna through each wife he had 10 sons and each of the sons of Krishna had 10 sons each. So the whole aggregate was something near 1,610,800 family members of the Lord. The Lord is the father of all living beings who are countless in number. Therefore, only a few of them are called to associate with the Lord in his transcendental pastimes as the Lord of Dwaraka on this earth. So, everyone is ultimately a son of the Supreme Lord or a daughter of the Supreme Lord. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Aham Bija Pradapita. The Lord is the father of all living beings. It is not astonishing that the Lord maintained a visible family consisting of so many members. In Dwaraka, Krishna was having uh, 1,610,000 grandsons and 161,000 uh, sons and 16,108 queens and a huge family hmm? that's Krishna's own family as Krishna was playing the role of the Lord of Dwaraka. It is better to refrain from comparing the Lord's position to ours and be, it becomes a simple truth as, as soon as we understand at least a partial calculation of the Lord's transcendental position. Always we should remember this point that Lord is transcendentally situated eternally. Even when he comes to this material world, he is untouched by matter. He is completely spirit. He remains spiritual position. He remains in his spiritual position eternally always and all his uh, connections are completely transcendental. So if we become connected with Krishna, we also become transcendentally situated. The simple example, when I vibrate my tongue and say Krishna, I chant the name of the Supreme Lord Krishna immediately I come in touch with the transcendental sound of his name and I am elevated to the spiritual position or platform. But to remain on the spiritual platform, that requires practice of bhakti and purifying the consciousness and elevating my consciousness to always remain on the transcendental platform while in the material world. And in the spiritual world, the entire spiritual world is completely on the spiritual plane. So there is no question of any touch of matter in the spiritual world. But in the material world, everything is tainted by the touch of the matter. Even our body, material body means it is the touch of matter. So we have to elevate ourselves to the spiritual platform and remain there. If we remain uh, on the spiritual platform always, we are also transcendentally situated like Krishna. And that is exactly what is called as Krishna consciousness. King Yudhishthira, while inquiring about the Lord's sons and grandsons at Dwaraka, mentioned only the chieftains among them, for it was impossible for him to remember all the names of the Lord's family members. 1,610,000 he did not mention. He just remembered the, he just mentioned the chieftains. Verses 32 and 33, they are together, I will read them both. Tathaivanu chara shaure 
ಶ್ರುತದೇವೋದ್ಧವಾದಯ ಸುನಂದನಂದ ಶೀರ್ಷಣ್ಯ ಏಚಾನ್ಯೆ ಸಾತ್ವತರ್ಷಭಾ ಅಪಿ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ಆಸತೆ ಸರ್ವೆ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭುಜಾಶ್ರಯ ಅಪಿ ಸ್ಮರಂತಿ ಕುಶಲ ಅಸ್ಮಾಕಂ ಬದ್ಧ ಸೌಹೃದ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟೂ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಶ್ರುತದೇವ ಉದ್ಧವ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ನಂದ ಸುನಂದ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಲೀಡರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಿಬರೇಟೆಡ್ ಸೋಲ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯಾನಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಬಲರಾಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಆಲ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ವೆಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಡೂ ದೇ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಇಟರ್ನಲಿ ಬೌಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಶಿಪ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಅವರ್ ವೆಲ್ಫೇರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಯುಧಿಷ್ಠ ಯುಧಿಷ್ಠರ್ ಎನ್ಕ್ವೈರೀಸ್ ಟು ಅರ್ಜುನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ್ ಹಸ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ್ವಾರಕ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ಪರ್ ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಶ್ರೀಲ ಪ್ರಾಪಾಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯಾನಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸಚ್ ಅಸ್ ಉದ್ಧವ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಲಿಬರೇಟೆಡ್ ಸೋಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಡಿಸೆಂಡೆಡ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಟು ಫುಲ್ಫಿಲ್ ದ ಮಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ದ ಪಾಂಡವಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಲಿಬರೇಟೆಡ್ ಸೋಲ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಡಿಸೆಂಡೆಡ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಟು ಸರ್ವ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಇನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸೆಂಟಲ್ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ಸೊ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಯಾದವಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ವಾರಕ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಾಂಡವಸ್ ಇನ್ ಹಸ್ತಿನಾಪುರ ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ಲಿಬರೇಟೆಡ್ ಸೋಲ್ಸ್ ಇಟರ್ನಲ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಏಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟರ್ನಲ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಲಿಬರೇಟೆಡ್ ಸೋಲ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕಮ್ ಡೌನ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ಅಟ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವೆಲ್ಸ್ the lord remembers them all but his associates although liberated souls forget due to their being the tatastha shakti or marginal potency of the lord just like in the fourth chapter the bhagavad gita said arjuna he forgot that he had appeared with krishna several times before he had forgotten that but if krishna remembers all of them and that is very clearly explained in the fourth chapter of the bhagavad gita <coughs> that is the difference between the vishnu tattva and jiva tattva we belong to jiva tattva krishna vasudeva sankarshana pradyumna aniruddha narayana balaram rama narsimha varaha all belong to vishnu tattva they never forget anything whereas we jiva tattva we forget uh, because of our tiny position the jiva tattvas are infinitesimal potential particles of the lord and therefore they require the protection of the lord at all times and to the eternal servitors of the lord the lord is pleased to give all protection at all times lord is very pleased to give protection and that's our position dependence dependence on whom dependence on krishna that is uh, that is the best dependence that's eternal protection dependence on krishna the liberated souls never therefore think themselves as free as the lord lord is completely free completely independent and the liberated souls even though they are free from the touch of matter they don't think themselves independent they always seek the protection of the lord in all circumstances in the material world and in the spiritual world spiritual world there is no question of seeking protection but their attitude is i want to be eternally under krishna's shelter krishna's protection this is the attitude of all devotees all liberated souls now shrila proper explains a very important point this dependence of the liberated soul is constitutional for the liberated souls are like sparks of a fire that are able to exhibit the glow of fire along with the fire and not independently this is the best example that can help us understand what is our active position a spark of a blazing fire is very very insignificant tiny but as long as the spark is in the fire it will glow like the fire 
but the spark cannot independently glow when it is separated from the blazing fire. Independently, the glow of the spark is extinguished, although the quality of fire or the glowing is there. As spirit soul, our uh, quality of spirit is actually not exhibited when we are separated from Krishna. Those who give up the protection of the Lord and become so called lords themselves out of spiritual ignorance come back again to the material world even after prolonged tapasya of the severest type. That is the verdict of all Vedic literature. So I will stop here. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.